Oh my god, new album. Can we just like chatter about that for a second? Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren if you're new here and I am such a lobster like I am so sunburnt right now So yeah, welcome to Lauren the lobsters YouTube channel <laughs> Yesterday was Memorial Day and I spent some time in a park grilling hot dogs and burgers with my friends and I forgot sunscreen And oh my god, this light is making it look so much worse. Oh, wear sunscreen kids Anyways, welcome back to another Taylor Swift Tuesday um, I'm very excited to chat with you about this video because a few of you have been requesting it and like messaging me about it So here it is. Let's talk about this this exciting news that Taylor Swift is dropping a new album in the next year and a half? That's crazy! That's so exciting. Oh my god, let's get into it. If this is your first time here, what's up? I'm Lauren. You should follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so as you all know, Taylor Swift just played the Rose Bowl a few weekends ago in LA and a lot of celebrities went, a lot of news figures went, there were a lot of people there. I was there, it was an amazing time overall. And Perez Hilton, very, very big Taylor Swift fan. I think that he's been to every single tour that she's ever done, which is like amazing. Goals right there, very jealous about that. And I think he did a meet and greet, I want to say with his son. So he met Taylor Swift recently in Pasadena and he said that he was talking to Taylor Swift and he said to her, you know, I really think that you should have a song on your album called 30 about your experience of almost turning 30 because you know, you did a song called 15, you did a song called 22. He was like, I just feel like 30 would be the next thing that would make the most sense. And Taylor Swift said to Perez Hilton, oh, I'm gonna be releasing another album before I turn 30. What? Are you serious? We're getting a, another Taylor Swift album in the next year and a half? That is crazy. We like literally had a three year gap of no new Taylor Swift music and we all know her. She's an incredible songwriter. She's a lyricist. This is who she is. This is her talent. And so I'm sure in that three year period, she was writing songs and has like a stockpile of songs. And that to me is just so very exciting. There's been all of these rumors going around the internet that there's gonna be Reputation 2 deluxe version. I don't know if there is going to be a deluxe version because of how many songs are on Reputation. That's just my personal opinion. I would love to know your thoughts, but guys, how exciting is that? Oh my God, I mean, wow, that's just, Oh, I like wonder what the vibes are gonna be. I I have no idea because when you think about it These songs from reputation are probably the songs that she wrote when she first met Joe, right? And now they're like almost at two years So when that happens, it's just like I bet she's like been writing songs about their time together now And oh my god, you guys that's just so very exciting. I really wanted to share that with you all Please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you go look at Perez Hilton's YouTube video He does a sit down chat with the camera talking about his experience. I really liked it if you're a big Taylor Swift fan, you will really appreciate his in-depth description of his experience at the Reputation tour and meeting her and the fact that she's got a new album coming out. Good question, Perez. Like, because I like was an idiot and blacked out and didn't ask her any of my questions, I'm like, now after the fact, I'm just like, well, I didn't ask her this, I didn't ask her that. And Perez Hilton got the scoop. He got the scoop. Very excited that he was able to share that with us. And I'm excited to see what comes from her. I also wanted to talk to you guys about one more thing that actually happened a few hours ago as of filming this. If you're a big Taylor Swift fan, you might be familiar with some of Taylor Swift's backup dancers that she's been using for a few years now, and you might be familiar with Toshi. I believe his name is Kim Toshi Davidson. He's been a longtime dancer for Taylor Swift. He was a dancer on the 1989 World Tour, he's a dancer on the Reputation Tour, and you know, they just seem to have a good professional relationship. I'm unsure if this is true as of filming this, it could be confirmed by the time that you're watching this, but the Twitter accounts Taylor Swift Updates and Pop Crave both tweeted a few hours ago that Toshi was fired from Taylor Swift's tour for posting sexist and misogynistic posts on his Instagram story. Now, it's interesting because over the weekend, a few of you guys were DMing me messages of like, look, this is Taylor Swift dancer, can you believe this? And I like, I didn't, it didn't click with me when you guys were messaging it to me. Thank you to everyone who messages me. I appreciate you so much. You guys keep me in the know more than you think. And someone sent me a screenshot of one of his Instagram stories and then I tried to look up his Instagram account, Toshi Adventures, and I couldn't find the account. And it looked like it was like deleted or something. And then as of me reading this tweet, it looked like he, his account was back, but it had been made private. This is totally unconfirmed at this point of filming. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I will post on the screen right now some of the Instagram stories in question that were seen as inappropriate. Now, 
to me that's pretty messed up um, a lot of it is promoting rape culture a lot of it is promoting misogynistic ideals of, and ways of living saying things like back to the kitchen that's just like it's 2018 man like I don't really know how you think that thinking like that is okay or even like joking about it it's just not a funny joke I'm sorry joke about things that are actually funny that is my personal opinion and you know when someone did send me this Instagram and I thought about this and I in my head I was like Taylor Swift probably wouldn't be happy to know that you're doing this. I mean, you have a huge opportunity, the fact that you were on her tour again for the second time. He might have even have been dancing with her longer than 1989 World Tour, but I'm, I'm familiar with Toshi. I think I used to follow him on Instagram a little bit ago. I'm familiar with him. He's got like a really bright smile. He's a great dancer, very talented. And, and when you have an audience like this, you really need to be careful about the stuff that you are posting. And I don't know, a lot of people are saying, well, it was a joke. He shouldn't have gotten fired. I'm just like... It's social media, like like you are representing a brand or a company that you're with. Like if, if I worked for a nine to five corporate company and they saw me posting ridiculous hate speech, I should be fired, <laughs> reprimanded, or like, you know what I mean? There's, there's consequences to people's actions and it's crazy to me that people aren't seeing that. That is my personal opinion. Please let me know your thoughts. Um, again, this is unconfirmed. If it's confirmed by now, please comment down below and let me know. Um, Cause this was just posted just like a few hours ago. I guess we'll find out if he's fired or not on uh, Taylor Swift's next tour stop in Chicago. Yeah, that's gotta be weird because I know that Taylor Swift and her dancers become like a family. They've been preparing for this tour for a very long time. That's gotta be very strange, very strange climate to be in. But yes, those are my Taylor Swift updates. I really hope you guys enjoyed this short little Taylor Swift Tuesday video. Oh my God, new album. Can we just like chatter about that for a second? Ah, new album from Taylor in the next year and a half. <sighs> What if she includes some country in it? Does anyone miss a little bit of country, Taylor? I like today I was listening to All Too Well. Oh, of course I was. And like then, then like the story of us came on and you know, I miss, not like I miss because I love what she's doing, but the old, that's how we met Taylor was country. And so, you know, maybe I would love to hear her sing with a banjo again. I know we got that in her rendition of September, but that would just be an exciting thing. <laughs> All right, guys, comment down below. Let me know your opinion about her new album that she will be putting out in the next year and a half. Amazing. And let me know your thoughts about this Toshi backup dancer drama. I don't know if it's true or not love to know how you feel as always thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed if you did please remember to leave it a like your likes mean a lot to me it tells youtube that you like my content and that it should be recommending it to other people so make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye